20 actors currently rotting in jail and the reasons why, step into the world of the rich and famous turned infamous. In this eye-opening episode, we delve deep into the shocking scandals and legal woes of 20 once prominent actors who have found themselves on the wrong side of the law. From Hollywood blockbusters to ACC-claimed TV series, these stars had it all until they didn't. Now let's get started. Amy Locaine. Amy Locaine, born on December 19, 1971, is an American actress whose career was marked by promising beginnings but led to a tragic turn of events. She initially gained recognition through her performance in John Waters' musical comedy, Cry Baby, and later portrayed Sandy Harling in the first season of the primetime soap opera, Melrose Place. Locaine also appeared alongside Matt Damon and Brendan Fraser in the film School Ties. However, Locaine's life took a devastating turn on June 27, 2010, when she was involved in a fatal DUI car crash in Montgomery, New Jersey. The accident resulted in the death of 60-year-old Helen Seaman. At the time of the crash, Locaine had a blood alcohol level nearly three times the legal limit. She was convicted of vehicular homicide and assault by auto. Despite initial sentencing to three years in prison, her case underwent several legal proceedings. An appeals court deemed her initial sentence lenient, leading to a resentencing in February 2019 to five years. Further legal developments led to another resentencing in September 2020, and Locaine was ultimately sentenced to eight years in New Jersey State Prison, with a requirement to serve more than six years before being eligible for parole. Amy Locaine's journey from a celebrated actress to a convicted felon serves as a somber reminder of how personal decisions can lead to irreversible consequences, affecting not only the individual's life, but also the lives of others impacted by such tragic incidents. Skylar Deleon Skylar Deleon, born as John Julius Jacobson Jr., initially made a name for himself as a child actor with a small role in the television series Power Rangers. However, his life took a dark and violent path in 2004 when he, along with his wife and accomplices, orchestrated a brutal crime. The group targeted a couple selling their yacht and, during a test run in Newport Beach Harbor, attacked them, forced them to sign over the boat, tied them up, and threw them into the sea. The victims' bodies were never recovered. After years of investigation, one of the accomplices confessed, leading to the prosecution of Deleon and his wife. Ultimately, Skylar Deleon was sentenced to death by lethal injection for his role in the murders. Due to California's moratorium on executions, he remains on death row. His wife received a life sentence without the possibility of parole. While in prison, Skylar Delion changed his name to Skylar Preciosa Delion and underwent hormone therapy to transition to a more feminine appearance. The grim fate of Skylar Delion underscores how fame and fortune can unravel into tragedy. From an early career on TV, his actions led to convictions for robbery and murder, culminating in a death sentence and imprisonment that will define the rest of his life. Michael Jace Michael Jace, born on July 13, 1962, gained recognition as an actor for his role as Los Angeles police officer Julian Lowe in the FX series The Shield. He also appeared in notable television shows and movies like Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Clear and Present Danger, and Forrest Gump, where he played the leader of the Black Panthers. Jace began his acting career in 1992 with a role on Law and & Order, and later earned parts in films such as Strange Days, The Replacements, and Boogie Nights. Despite a successful career in Hollywood, Jace's life took a devastating turn when he was arrested for murdering his wife, April Jace, at their home in Hyde Park, South Los Angeles. He confessed to shooting her and was found guilty of second-degree murder on May 31, 2016. He was subsequently sentenced to 40 years to life in prison and is currently serving time at the California State Prison in Corcoran. Michael Jace's story illustrates how a once-successful career can unravel due to personal turmoil and violence.
From portraying a police officer on screen to being convicted of a heinous crime, his tragic fall from grace remains a stark reminder of the impact of domestic violence. Kaelin Walker, K.R. Kaelin Walker, famously known as K.R., emerged as a dynamic force in Hollywood, captivating audiences with his diverse talents in music, acting, and dance. Despite his young age, Walker made significant inroads in the entertainment industry with notable achievements. He ventured into acting and made a notable debut in the film Kings, which premiered at the Toronto Independent Film Festival. The film, featuring heavyweights like Halle Berry and Daniel Craig, explores the complexities of a family during the 1992 Los Angeles riots providing a poignant narrative that promised to captivate audiences. However, Walker's promising career took a dark turn when he was arrested in 2018 and subsequently tried for a series of sexual assaults. He was accused of targeting aspiring models through social media, promising them work opportunities. The case against him drew significant media attention, and he was found guilty on multiple counts of sexual assault, including forcible rape, assault to commit oral copulation, statutory rape, and rape by intoxication. Despite being acquitted on some counts, the severity of the charges led to a substantial sentence. Kalen Walker was sentenced to 50 years to life, highlighting the gravity of his offenses. His case has been widely reported and discussed, underlining the serious consequences of such criminal behavior especially involving vulnerable individuals in the entertainment industry. Walker's fall from an upcoming star to a convicted felon serves as a cautionary tale about the potential pitfalls that can derail promising careers and lives. William Hayden William Hayden gained widespread recognition as the star of the reality television series Sons of Guns, which aired on the Discovery Channel. The show revolved around Hayden's business, Red Jacket Firearms, a custom gun shop in Louisiana, and showcased his expertise as a gunsmith. Sons of Guns highlighted the intricacies of crafting and modifying firearms, capturing the attention of firearms enthusiasts worldwide. Hayden's persona as a skilled, charismatic leader helped elevate the show's popularity. However, in 2014, Hayden's public persona crumbled when he was arrested on charges of aggravated rape of a child. Following the initial arrest, additional victims came forward, leading to further charges of rape and sexual assault against minors. He faced multiple accusations, and after a lengthy legal process, Hayden was convicted in 2017 of two counts of aggravated rape and one count of forcible rape. The convictions resulted in three consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole, effectively ending his career and freedom. The shocking nature of his crimes overshadowed his accomplishments as a craftsman and business owner. The conviction also led to the cancellation of Sons of Guns and the closure of Red Jacket Firearms. His downfall serves as a chilling reminder that criminal behavior can nullify even the most prestigious careers, leaving a legacy tainted by betrayal and the devastating impact on his victims. Congratulations on completing one of three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one. Otherwise, comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Shannon Richardson Shannon Richardson, born on August 31, 1977, was an American actress known for her minor roles in various television series. Despite a relatively modest career with appearances on shows like The Vampire Diaries, Franklin and Bash, and The Walking Dead, her life took a notorious turn due to her involvement in a high-profile criminal case that captured national attention. In 2013, Richardson attempted to frame her husband by sending ricin-laced letters to prominent figures, including then-U.S. President Barack Obama and New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Her actions were aimed at implicating her husband in the crime. However, investigators quickly identified her involvement, leading to her arrest. She later pleaded guilty to possessing and producing a biological toxin. 
In 2014, Richardson was sentenced to 18 years in federal prison for her role in the Ricin mailings. Her shocking criminal behavior transformed her from a relatively unknown actress into a symbol of domestic terrorism, with her name forever tied to the attempted attacks on political figures. The severity of her sentence highlighted the gravity of her actions and underscored the federal government's resolve in prosecuting cases involving biological weapons. Drew Drexel Drew Drexel, a prominent figure in the world of American Ninja Warrior, experienced significant success on the popular television show, captivating audiences with his athletic prowess and dynamic performances. His skills earned him considerable fame and he became a celebrated champion of the series, known for his remarkable obstacle course achievements. However, Drexel's promising career took a severe downturn in 2020 when he was accused of engaging in sexual misconduct with a minor. The allegations stated that Drexel met a young fan at an event and subsequently invited her to his gym, where the alleged sexual encounter occurred. At the time of the incident, the victim was reported to be 15 years old, while Drexel was 26. Following these serious allegations, Drexel was arrested in August 2020. The entertainment community and his fans were stunned by the charges, which included several counts of illegal sexual behavior. In response to these allegations, NBC took swift action by editing him out of season 12 of American Ninja Warrior to distance the show from the controversy surrounding him. As of the latest updates, Drew Drexel is currently being held at the Federal Detention Center in Philadelphia, awaiting further legal proceedings. His case has drawn significant media attention due to his status as an American Ninja Warrior champion, underlining the serious nature of the accusations and the broader implications for his career and personal life. Zach Avery Zach Avery, whose real name is Zachary Horwitz, is a former actor and film distributor best known for orchestrating one of Hollywood's most notable Ponzi schemes. Initially, he gained some recognition through minor roles in independent films and aimed to establish himself in the entertainment industry. However, behind the scenes, Horwitz was engaged in fraudulent activities that deceived investors and tarnished his public image. Horwitz orchestrated a Ponzi scheme through his company, one in MM Capital LLC, by convincing investors that he had secured lucrative distribution rights to foreign films. He fabricated agreements and falsely claimed to have partnerships with major streaming services like Netflix and HBO, assuring investors that their funds would generate significant returns. Instead of investing in film distribution, Horwitz used the funds to pay previous investors and support a lavish lifestyle. In April 2021, federal authorities arrested Horwitz for securities fraud, revealing that his scheme defrauded investors out of over $227 million. He later pleaded guilty to charges including wire fraud, acknowledging his role in misleading numerous investors over the years. Zach Avery was sentenced in 2022 to a lengthy prison term of 20 years. The scandal significantly impacted those who trusted his word and highlighted the devastating consequences of financial crime in the entertainment industry. Joe Exotic Joe Exotic, whose real name is Joseph Maldonado Passage, is a former zookeeper and media personality who gained widespread notoriety through the documentary series Tiger King Murder Mayhem and Madness, which aired on Netflix in 2020. Born Joseph Allen Schreibvogel on March 5, 1963, he initially pursued a career in law enforcement before venturing into the exotic animal business. Exotic owned and operated the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Oklahoma, where he became known for his charismatic yet eccentric personality and contentious relationships with animal rights activists. His most prominent rivalry was with Carol Baskin, the founder of Big Cat Rescue. Their feud escalated into a public spectacle, with Exotic using his online platforms to voice his disdain for Baskin and even suggesting violence against her. 
In 2018, he was arrested and later convicted on federal charges, including a murder-for-hire plot against Baskin, as well as for violating wildlife laws related to the illegal trafficking and killing of tigers. In 2020, Joe Exotic was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison. His imprisonment sparked both criticism and support, leading to the Mac Free Joe Exotic movement. His story remains a controversial tale of ambition, crime, and the complex world of exotic animal trade, captivating audiences worldwide. Joseph's Son Joseph's son, born on November 22, 1970, is a South Korean-born American who initially gained minor fame in the entertainment industry. He is best remembered for his role as Random Task, a villain in the 1997 comedy film Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. Beyond his brief acting career, Sun also pursued professional wrestling and mixed martial arts, showcasing his diverse talents in the realm of physical performance. However, Sun's life took a dark and criminal turn away from the limelight. His notorious legacy stems from his conviction for a heinous crime committed in 1990, well before his acting debut. Sun was involved in a brutal gang rape in California, where he and an accomplice kidnapped, tortured, and sexually assaulted a woman. The case went unsolved for years, until Sun's DNA, collected following a vandalism arrest, matched evidence from the 1990 assault. In 2011, Sun was convicted of felony torture in connection to the crime. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. While serving his sentence, he committed another violent act, murdering his cellmate Michael Thomas Graham in 2017. This act resulted in an additional sentence of 27 years for voluntary manslaughter. Joseph Sun's case is a stark reminder of the potential for individuals in the public eye to have a hidden and disturbing past. His life story is marked by a dramatic fall from fleeting cinematic fame to lifelong infamy and imprisonment overshadowed by his violent and criminal actions. Jen Shaw Jen Shaw, born on October 4, 1973, is an American television personality who rose to prominence through her role on the reality TV series The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Known for her bold personality and luxurious lifestyle on the show, Shaw quickly became one of the more memorable figures in the reality TV landscape. However, Shaw's public persona was dramatically overshadowed by legal issues that emerged in 2021. She was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering as part of a nationwide telemarketing scam. The allegations against Shaw claimed that she and her associates defrauded hundreds of victims, many of whom were elderly and vulnerable, by selling them essentially worthless services with the promise of business opportunities. Despite initially pleading not guilty, Shaw changed her plea to guilty in July 2022, acknowledging her involvement in the scheme. The charges stemmed from accusations that Shaw and her team engaged in a sophisticated fraud operation, misleading victims into investing in services like website design and business coaching, which were fronts for the scam. In January 2023, Jen Shaw was sentenced to 6.5 years in prison, marking a significant fall from grace for the once-celebrated reality TV star. Her case highlighted the serious consequences of engaging in fraudulent activities, especially those targeting vulnerable populations. Shaw's incarceration began shortly after her sentencing, putting a pause on her television career and public life as she served her term. Toby Willis Toby Willis, born on April 29, 1970, was once known as the patriarch of the Willis clan, a family musical group that gained fame through their appearances on America's Got Talent and their own reality TV show on TLC, The Willis Family. The family, consisting of Toby, his wife Brenda, and their 12 children, was celebrated for their musical talents and wholesome image, charming audiences with their performances and seemingly idyllic family life. However, the facade of an ideal family life shattered dramatically when Toby Willis was arrested in 2016 on charges of child rape. 
The allegations revealed a disturbing pattern of sexual abuse perpetrated by Willis against an underage girl, an incident that occurred well before the family's rise to fame. The severity of his actions brought an immediate end to the family's television show and cast a dark shadow over their public persona. In 2017, Willis pleaded guilty to four counts of child rape and was subsequently sentenced to 40 years in prison. The conviction of Toby Willis not only marked a tragic and stark downfall for the individual, but also had profound repercussions for the Willis family, affecting their careers and personal lives deeply. The case serves as a chilling reminder of how public figures can harbor dark secrets, and it underscores the serious consequences of such grievous actions. Allison Mack Allison Mack, born on July 29, 1982, is an actress best known for her role as Chloe Sullivan in the television series Smallville. Her character was popular among fans for her wit and tenacity, and Mack remained on the show for nearly its entire 10-season run. She had a promising career in entertainment, with a trajectory that seemed poised for further success. However, her reputation drastically shifted due to her involvement with NXIVM, an organization led by Keith Ranier. Originally promoted as a self-help group, NXIVM was revealed to be a cult that exploited and manipulated its members. Mac was a prominent member and recruiter within DOS, a secretive subgroup of NXIVM that reportedly involved branding women and compelling them into servitude. Mac was arrested in 2018 and faced multiple charges, including racketeering and conspiracy to commit forced labor. She initially pleaded not guilty, but later entered a guilty plea in 2019. In 2021, she was sentenced to three years in prison for her role in recruiting and coercing women into the cult. The Allison Mack case highlighted the manipulative and exploitative practices of NXIVM, drawing significant public attention and serving as a warning about the dangers of coercive organizations. Her story is a striking example of how a once promising career can become overshadowed by involvement in criminal activity, and it underscores the damaging impact that cult-like organizations can have on individuals and society at large. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein, born March 19, 1952, is a former film producer and co-founder of Miramax and the Weinstein Company. He was once a prominent figure in Hollywood, known for producing acclaimed films like Pulp Fiction, Shakespeare in Love, and The King's Speech. His success helped shape the careers of many filmmakers and actors, earning him recognition as a significant power broker in the entertainment industry. However, his career and reputation unraveled in 2017 after investigations by the New York Times and The New Yorker exposed decades of sexual misconduct allegations. Multiple women accused Weinstein of harassment, assault, and rape, catalyzing the Taka Me Too movement, which shed light on widespread sexual abuse in various industries. The stories of his accusers emboldened others to come forward with similar allegations against powerful individuals. Weinstein was arrested in 2018 and faced criminal charges in New York, leading to his conviction in February 2020 on two counts, criminal sexual act in the first degree and third degree rape. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Later, he faced additional charges in California, where his trial began in 2022, resulting in a 16-year sentence in February 2023 for three counts related to rape and sexual assault. Weinstein's downfall not only marked the end of his career, but also became a turning point in how the entertainment industry addresses sexual misconduct, prompting reforms and encouraging victims to speak out. His case remains a landmark example of holding powerful individuals accountable for abuses of power. Ryan Grantham Ryan Grantham, born in 1998, is a former Canadian actor known for his roles in TV shows like Riverdale and Supernatural, and films such as Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Despite his early success in acting, Grantham's career was overshadowed by a tragic event in March 2020. On March 31, 2020, he murdered his mother, Barbara Waite, 
in their home in Squamish, British Columbia. Grantham later confessed to the crime, revealing that he had planned the murder and even recorded videos of himself before and after the act. Following the killing, he considered additional violent actions, including an intention to drive to Ottawa with the idea of harming Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Instead, he turned himself in to the police shortly after the incident. In March 2023, Grantham, now 25 years old, was sentenced to life in prison after pleading guilty to second-degree murder. He will be eligible for parole after 14 years. The case shocked both Canada and Hollywood due to Grantham's young age and the premeditated nature of the crime. It highlighted the complexities of mental health issues and their potential for tragic outcomes if left unchecked. Zara Fithian Zara Fithian, a British actress and martial artist, made a name for herself through her roles in action and fantasy films. Known for her work in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she appeared in Doctor Strange 2016 as one of Cassilius's zealots. Her dynamic martial arts skills and screen presence made her a standout performer, earning her a fan base and recognition in the film industry. However, in 2022, her public image faced significant scrutiny when she and her husband, Victor Mark, were charged and later convicted of child sexual abuse. The couple was accused of sexually abusing a minor over a prolonged period, starting when the victim was 13 years old. During the trial, multiple disturbing details of their abuse came to light, and both were found guilty of the crimes. Fithian received an eight-year prison sentence, while Mark was sentenced to 14 years. This scandal drastically shifted public perception of Fithian, turning her once-promising career into a tragic fall from grace. Her conviction not only brought her career to a halt, but also emphasized the severity and impact of the crimes committed, overshadowing her professional achievements in the entertainment industry. Danny Masterson Danny Masterson, born March 13, 1976, is an American actor best known for his role as Stephen Hyde in the popular sitcom That 70s Show. He started acting in the early 1990s, gaining recognition on television and in film with appearances in series like Sybil and movies such as Yes Man. Masterson later worked on the series The Ranch, also produced by Netflix. In the late 2010s, Masterson faced serious allegations when multiple women accused him of sexual assault. The accusations, which dated back to the early 2000s, led to an LAPD investigation and eventually to criminal charges in 2020. The allegations included claims that he had raped women after luring them to his home. These claims were amplified by the Church of Scientology's alleged involvement in attempting to silence the victims. Masterson's first trial in 2022 ended in a mistrial due to a hung jury. However, after a retrial in 2023, he was convicted of two counts of rape and acquitted on a third count. In September 2023, he was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for the crimes. Danny Masterson's case garnered widespread attention not only because of his fame, but also due to the influence of the Church of Scientology. The trial brought significant scrutiny to how the organization handled allegations involving its members. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too, so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.